for the Lord. It would make a lot of sense why God preordained and sanctified him and declared he knew him even before his mother was with child. There are some positions in ministry that if you're not called and positioned to minister in, you shouldn't pursue it. May I say that again? There are some things if you're not called to do, don't pursue it. Because sometimes the going get tough. And there was a saying that's only the fittest or the strongest will survive. Some positions that you are in, you become a prime target of the devil. And he will keep coming at you and try to wear you down. It wasn't long before we find out why God took hold of Jeremiah before his birth. The name Jeremiah means Jehovah lays foundation or Jehovah raises up or launches out. It's interesting that the name Jeremiah is mentioned in his own book 131 times. Unlike the book of Isaiah where his name is mentioned 16 times. There are about six people mentioned in the Bible by the name Jeremiah. But here we are talking about the prophet, better known as the weeping prophet. So called because of the burden he carried for his people, especially when he saw their transgressions and God's punishment. I was constantly meeting out to them. He had an interesting call as a young man. In chapter 1 and verse 4, it says, The word of the Lord came unto me, saying, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew you. And before you came out of the womb, I sanctified you. And while you were on your way, I ordained you a prophet unto the nations. How many of us would like to be positioned like Jeremiah that God said before you were conceived in your mother's womb I had my eyes on you. And while you were yet developing in your mother's womb I set you apart specially for my purpose. And I also put my seal of approval on your life before you came into the world. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Then said I, Oh Lord, behold, I cannot speak, for I am but a child. 
In other words, a young man, a fighter, a warrior, skilled man. But when he recognized the call of God to be a prophet, in the time that he was, he said, I couldn't speak. But I heard another word from the Lord. Amen. It said unto him, Be not afraid of their faces. Amen. Some of them aren't going to like you. They're not going to listen to your prophecies. They're going to hate you because you tell them what thus said the Lord. They're going to scorn and reject you. But be not afraid of their faces. Because here is my assurance. I am with thee to deliver thee, said the Lord. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. Oh God, do we need that today? Mm. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth so that I would not speak what I want to speak. Come on, witness somebody. Oh, glory. So that the things I say will not be of my own choosing. The Lord touched my mouth. Who yes. 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 The Lord speak into my spirit. Yes. The Lord give me a word. Yes. He made my mouth his. Yes. And he said unto me, Behold, look, Jeremiah. Not only have I touched your mouth, but I put my words in your mouth. Yeah. Glory to the Lamb of God. When you speak, it should be and will always be what thus said the Lord. I ordain you for this. See, I have this day set thee over the nations, and I like this, and over the kingdoms to root up. And that's some radical talking there by God. Yes. Did it? God can be rough when He wants to. Yes. Amen, somebody? Yes. We told you time and again that God is a tyrant. Nobody must know He's a tyrant. Yes. I set you to root. time to pull down. Amen somebody? Amen. Don't do something because it makes you feel good. Or somebody tap you on the back and say well done. Because if it's time to pull down, you ought to pull down. When it's time to build up, you ought to build up. Hallelujah. Amen somebody? And then time to plant. The thought is today when the fire is burning. 